Oh yeah, puzzle. I need a pizzle. Is this 10 years old? Oh God. So today you're gonna be taking part in a try not to feel old challenge. Oh my God. It's too late. It's too late. I, I, I already do that every day. As soon as I get online, I'm like, oh, these kids. Oh, God. I already feel this way it's every like, day. Yeah. Can we not? I do that watching teens react. So we're going to show you 10 viral videos that all came out 10 years ago. 10 years ago. OK, so 2009. I was already a four year, uh, four years into my YouTube career. Damn. Um, I was in high school. It's crazy how like different YouTube has changed. Um, I feel so old. I'm gonna need like another round of like Botox after this. We running this, let's go. Oh, I love Lonely Island. Is that T-Pain? <laughs> this is 10 years old. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm sailing on a boat and a short form kind of comedy. Take a good hard look. Wow, that's crazy. This is this old. I'm on a boat. Look at me. Uh, Straight floating on a boat. On the deep blue sea. Classic. Here's how old I am. I was subscribed to the Lonely Island before they put this out. Before they were on Saturday Night Live. They were everything. They came out with like some of the best freaking music videos. I'm like obsessed with them. Like especially lately I've been watching all their old ones. Yeah, that makes me feel old. Oh my gosh. It's kind of a staple of pop culture at this point. I'm on a boat. Everyone knows what that means. And I think every time everyone's on a boat, they I say it. Oh, this commercial. Yeah. This is 10 years old? <laughs> I've, I've seen this. I remember it. Is this an ad for Avion Water? I never realized that. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. This was 10 years ago? What the heck? Well, that was very weird. I remember that commercial like on TV, but like I didn't know it was like a viral thing. This video was a commercial for Evian Water, and at the time it broke a YouTube record as the most viewed video advertisement. Really? Why? Wow. It's because it was weird and funny. Oh my god, weird. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. See, even 10 years ago, they knew the value of viral marketing. Oh yes, I just rewatched this the other day. Oh, is he dreaming? Yeah. That is so precious. Oh, buddy. Who are you chasing after? <laughs> oh my god. I totally forgot about this video. Oh god. Oh, it's so good. The short videos like that are viral now on TikTok, on uh, Twitter. They were viral on Vine for a while, but this was just YouTube. This was the heyday of YouTube. So this video has actually been used as a GIF a lot recently, and many people don't really know that it started as a viral short YouTube video. I feel like I have seen this on Twitter. I've never seen it. I've never even seen the GIF. So as you probably know with the YouTube algorithm, it tends to be nearly impossible for short videos like this to go viral nowadays. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think of that. YouTube rewards videos that are longer. They reward higher click-through rates and average view duration. When Vine died, YouTube's algorithm was like, sorry, we don't take that here anymore. You can try um, TikTok. I feel like it's the natural order of the internet for short form to be appealing. I'm on the internet. If I want to sit and watch something long, I have a TV for that. You gotta do it like this. Shawty, ready? Oh yeah, classic. I'm the gamer. Wow, 10 years old, huh? Auto-tune the news, man. First of all, I have a skate. Uh, I forgot Shmoyoho was so huge at this time. Not the East Coast day. Not the <laughs> In a decision written by a Republican. Hey! In a decision written by a Republican appointee. This was right when auto-tune was a really big thing. Now you found us so Ever. Nowadays, if I feel like if that were to come out, I don't think it would do as well. Because we've got amazing lip dubs now. No one really like knew how to do this whole YouTuber situation. So I feel like back then it truly was about like having fun, just creating whatever the F you wanted. This was the first boom of memeing politics and making people interested in talking about politics that might not have been interested in it before. This was one of the first viral videos by the channel Shmo Yoho. That's why I didn't remember the name because it's such a weird and I don't even know how to freaking say that. Which went on to create other YouTube classics such as the Double Rainbow song and the Bed Intruder song. Oh, Bed Intruder is so great. You know how I know I'm old? Because that beat came on 
and I immediately started leading with it, rocking with it. You know what I'm saying? But these kids nowadays, they would uh. But these kids nowadays, they would uh. But these kids nowadays, they would uh. <laughs> hey Apple. Hey. This was Apple. my favorite series hey, on YouTube. Oh hey, my Apple. goodness, Apple. Annoying Orange. Apple, hey. Hey Apple. What? I what? forgot this what existed. It? What is it? Orange, you glad I didn't say Apple again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Orange, you glad I didn't say Apple again? I can't believe this was popular. <laughs> Orange, you glad I didn't say Apple again? <laughs> Ugh, the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's real f***ing annoying. It was so different than everything that was kind of trending on YouTube back then. But I look back now, I'm like, why didn't I like that? Because like, I love puns, I love animation. So this is the video that started the Annoying Orange channel. Annoying Orange, yes. And it was originally posted on the creator, Danbo's personal channel before it blew up, leading him to make a channel just for that content. Yeah. Danbo, man. I, I know. Right. I remember thinking it was so interesting that he was doing a channel just for it. I was like, is this gonna catch on? Is this really that that big of a viral sensation? And it and it was. Since the first viral video, they turned it into a TV show on Cartoon Network and the web series is still going on today, having over 1,200 videos. Whoa, that's a lot of content. <laughs> They're over here saying that YouTubers can't make a career, that it's not gonna last forever, girl. We are 10 years strong out here. Yes, it might be an, an annoying orange, but she's still ripe. <laughs> I need a puzzle. Oh yeah, puzzle. I need a puzzle. Oh yeah. Dog, I need a puzzle so I can write on this canton. Why didn't I go to high school with this girl? I'm about to fail this test, but I'm still the best. I'm gonna wake up five minutes before and say, Are you the best? Yes. Give me all the answers because I asked for the shit. How did I miss this? This is the first time I've ever seen this video. And it's impressive. There's no way that was 10 years ago. I could have swore it was like three or four years ago. I so remember this. I remember her face and everything. And people would always sing this whenever someone didn't have a pencil. This one really took me there. Okay, this one, I had this much of a feeling of slightly feeling a little bit older, okay? A little bit. So this video has over 30 million views and was huge back in 2009. Wow, I don't know how I didn't see that one. I hope that we work together one day. I am your biggest fan and I've just seen your work. I dream the dream and time Oh, goes there she is. Oh, Susan Boyle. Unemployed, they put that in the lower third. Is this 10 years old? This was 10 years ago? Did you? No. Jeez. Did you? No. I did not expect that. Oh, I just got the chills. Oh my god. She is incredible. Her voice is amazing. This video made me cry so many times. What? She made Simon smile? Everyone was so critical against her and she opened her mouth and literally made everyone regret everything they thought. This Britain's Got Talent video went crazy viral back in 2009 and currently has over 237 million views. Wow, I wonder where she is now. And recently Susan Boyle actually returned to the show's Champions Edition. Yes. So crazy. I actually watched that. That's cool. She made a new appearance. We like the sound of that. One, two, three, oh, oh yeah, my god, I love this video. Everyone loved this because then even The Office did it, and that's how I found out about this. This just makes me think of The Office. But I remember when this video came out. Oh, is this one of those cringy wedding dance videos? The song, though, that's a throwback. Where's the bride? That's me if I ever get married. <laughs> oh, yes! That is my kind of wedding. She got the ring and she got the man. And a viral video. I like that. that that's how my future wedding is gonna be like. I remember this being like the first time online, everyone was like, oh my God, look at this. This is crazy. Like we need to recreate this. And oh, I want to do that for my wedding. I remember this creating quite the buzz. This video was so big that after it came out, it inspired parodies all over the world, even on shows like The Office. Oh, wow. I do remember that on The Office. I didn't know it was even parodying that. Immediately makes me think of The Office. And, uh, and it makes me think of, of my own wedding. Cause I got married like six months ago, 10 years ago watching this. 
I wasn't, I hadn't even met my wife yet. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like 10 years later, I'm like, oh, this like immediately brings up just different emotions for me because I, I, I see this now and I think of my wedding. Okay, hi. So my name is Boxy. Oh and, my um, God, yes, Boxy. 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 So I decided that oh. because of recent Wow, events, she's so good. I, I loved video. her. I made a new video, so I decided she's that because She's doing a character. Events, oh my gosh. I forgot about her. Um, so yeah. I so don't know what this is. And, um, so yeah. Fun fact, so my mannerisms low-key come from hers. As you can see, we did the exact same thing. Uh, I don't do drugs. Mm -mm. Are you sure, no, girl? You all, no, I know that you all think that I do drugs, but I don't, actually. <laughs> she was like one of the first trolls on the internet. I love that, like, I don't know what that's considered, like lonely girl, like those kind of vibes. I loved that back in the day. She's such a good actor and improviser. I'm surprised the world didn't catch on and start casting her in a, a whole bunch of things. So, Foxy was a character made by Katie Wayne. Thank God she was a character. Who later on in life became a blogger and a voice artist, but back when she made this video in her youth, people weren't really sure if she was playing a character or if that was how she really acted. I thought that was really her. I'm shook. We've got Miranda Sings. We've got uh, Brandon Miller's character. What's what's that? Uh, Joanne the Scammer. For a character to become famous, it's always a weird route for them for that to happen. It was like the first time that there was someone not just being themselves, like being like something that seemed kind of real but not real. I feel like now YouTube is moving in more of a direction of like your real raw personality. Um, so I feel like unless you kind of created a character that's just, that's been established and going on for the last few years. I don't know. I sing country music, so thank you so much for giving me a chance to- Has it really been 10 years since this shit happened? Yo, Taylor. Oh, I I'm really Kanye. You. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. This was shocking. I remember watching this on TV. One of the best videos of all time. Uh. <laughs> What? The secondhand embarrassment is real. Damn, f you, Kanye. For so many reasons. Not to sound uh, like like a typical girl on Twitter, but iconic. That's the first one really to blow my mind that it's been 10 years. This video also popularized YouTube in such a way because once that clip was up there and the entire world was talking about this moment, the only place that they could really watch it was YouTube. So there was also a huge video in 2009 called David After Dennis. Oh my word. Ah! I think I've heard of this one. To make you feel a little old, he just got accepted into college and here he is now. A man. What the heck? No. So he was what, like eight in that video? He looks like he was as a kid, but just I'm like, <laughs> I'm too old now. <laughs> That's the one thing that makes me feel the oldest when I see little kids that you've seen on TV grow up and do grown up things and, oh my gosh. I wonder if he's gonna be like, <laughs> at the dorms like, hey, remember this guy? Ladies, you ever seen this video? Yeah. That's me. So out of everyone filming this episode today, you're one of the few who've been creating YouTube videos since or before 2009. Yeah, four years beforehand, like a whole high school lifetime. 2006, man. Yeah, this is my 13th year on YouTube. So we wanted to take a quick trip down memory lane and see what your channel looked like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, I love so narcissistic. I'm like, yes. Oh my God. I can't believe this is what YouTube looked like. This is back when you could have like YouTube friends. Woo! 60,000 subscribers. Holy my goodness. Look how cool my channel looked back then. That's when YouTube let you really get creative with it, but MySpace style. Oh my gosh, this stuff on the left. <clears throat> Wow, that's crazy. Is that, I wonder if that information's still up there. Oh God, this hideous cardboard, it was so bad. Oh, but I was like, oh, it's, it looks like homemade. And we're like, we're the homemade guys. Of course I would have that like glittery background. <laughs> it looked more like a blog back then. Like, whoa, YouTube look, was, this doesn't even look like YouTube. Thank God YouTube is the way it is now. I, I don't think I could go back to this. Grandpa goes shopping. This character, had I only known what how long, I was gonna do this as a one-off character. It's supposed to be grandpa and that's that, like just that one video. That was 10 years ago. A lot of these high school kids that used to watch me back then and watch my advice videos and stuff, they're like, hey dude, I'm like, I just graduated from college. And then I run into kids like that who, who, who tell me stuff like that. I'm like, oh my God. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> I think the new YouTube definitely has things more figured out. They, I look at this page here and there's so much stuff that isn't really relevant to, to just getting me to watch another video. But this YouTube did such a better job at making it feel like a tight-knit community. It did feel more like a social media platform in the sense that it was people that got famous, not entities or companies. And nowadays, you have a lot of uh, you know, television networks and, and record labels. So finally, as a creator on YouTube, what do you think about the fact that YouTube's been around for over 10 years and that there's YouTube videos that are turning 10 and some that are even older? I, I don't know, that's just mind-blowing, honestly, because I used to watch YouTube when it first came out. You see the difference in like production now and all that stuff, so I think that's pretty cool. Good Mythical Morning's been on for about seven years. Um, and just looking back through our library and things that we've done, it's so, you know, in, in my mind, it's like, yeah, we just did that. I guess when adults are like, time flies, you're gonna wanna remember things, and you're like, stop, mom. In reality, they're telling you the truth. Like, I've never really registered that YouTube's been around that long. I've always feel like it's just, like, came out. It's just new, but when you really start looking through the upload date, <laughs> you really notice it's been a long, long time. It feels very strange. I remember uploading some of our first videos in 2005, and I was like, whoa, it'd be so cool if we could look at this in the future, and it's gonna say, like, 10 years old. It's just so interesting that this is now a part of an entire generation that knows no world where this didn't exist. It's just, it's just a part of culture now. Thanks for watching this nostalgic episode of YouTubers React. Make sure you hit that notification bell. What were you watching 10 years ago? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys! Hey, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. Thank you so much to all the creators who came in to shoot this episode with us today. Make sure you support them by subscribing to their channels. All the links are down below. Bye guys!